Welcome back to our Dental Spotlight. I'm Dr. Sharma. And I'm Renee. Okay, so today we're going to talk about flossing, which is quite important. It is, yes. Um, if you're not flossing, I know it's a tough habit to get into, but if you're not flossing, you're only cleaning about 50% of your tooth sur teeth surfaces with your toothbrush and you're leaving bacteria in between the teeth, which can cause cavities, more gum disease, bad breath, so flossing is important. Um, ideally, you're gonna use the string floss. Glide is a good one if your teeth are tight, it will slide right in there. So you wanna make sure you choose an arm, an arm's length worth of floss. Okay, I'll show you on my tooth model here. Okay, you wanna hold that I for know. me? Sure. <laughs> you're gonna wrap the floss around your middle fingers and you take about an inch with your pointer fingers here, okay? So I'll show you on the front tooth. When you're flossing, you wanna put the, the floss right in between the teeth and wrap it on each side of that triangle of gum tissue that's called a papilla. You wanna make sure you get under there to get all of that bacteria that's and plaque that's trapped under there. A lot of times people are just popping it in and out and that's, that's not really doing what it needs to do. So make sure you're getting way down, way down in there and and in the back. I know that's tough, but that's where a lot of a lot of plaque lurks. Okay. Now they do have uh, the different form of uh, flosses. One is waxed, yes. unwaxed. When do you use the wax and unwaxed? So the wax is um, ideal for t tight tight teeth. If your teeth are tight together, you're not going to be able to get that wax sure. in there easily. So the wax floss, um, you can use if your teeth, if you have some more spaces, um, there's going to be more food that's in there and that's going to get the, the bulk of it out. It'll help get more food out because so, it's thicker. Yeah. So I know a lot of our patients say they don't like to use the uh, string flosses. Yes. <laughs> yep. So they do use a lot of the ones that have the uh, little string in between. Yes. Yep. So let's talk about that then. So these are the next best thing. This is These are convenient. So I know some people are going to use these or nothing at all. So if you're going to use these, the, the same thing applies. You want to make sure you're getting the, the string on each side of that gum tissue. So right along here and you're actually going to go under the gum a little bit okay same thing in the back absolutely yeah now we do have patients who have a little a bigger gap yes uh, at the bottom of their teeth the yep. contact area so we do help rec i mean suggest or recommend the soft picks yes so these little picks they come in different sizes depending on how big the spaces are because if you have really large uh, spaces between your teeth the, the floss isn't going to be effective at removing all of that plaque. So you're going to you're going to put this right in between your teeth and just short back and forth strokes. Okay, you can rinse it. You're going to see some some build up on there. Rinse it in the sink and then go go right back in. And these are reusable a few times. Yep. The other thing I know about these why they're helpful is that they, you know, they can remove the uh, food from in between here so that when you do floss, it does not push the food yes. in between more towards, in, towards the gum yes. side. Yep. So these are really very useful and patients love it. Yes. Uh, the next best thing was the hydrofloss. Yes, so this, um, you may have seen this before, this is a water flosser. This is good for um, older patients, patients with dexterity issues that can't quite maneuver the floss around mm -hmm. the teeth. Mm -hmm. So this kind of, you, you put it along the, the gums and it kind of shoots everything out. So ideally you'll you'll be able to use, get in there with the floss occasionally, but this is definitely better than, better than nothing. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is that patients ask us about this gum stimulator. Yes. When yep. do we use that? So this you can use if you have some inflammation. You're just going to take this, open it here. This is gonna go right along the gums and just kind of stimulate the gums. It's like a little and help, massager. Like a little massager and help with, with gingivitis. Okay. Yep, just like that. Okay, brilliant. Yes. Well, hopefully this segment was a bit helpful for you. Yes. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call and uh, we can talk some more. Yes, thank you.